Dean, it's been a long time coming, but how good to get a win and most notably a performance like that? Yeah, really good. I mean, I, I do feel that performance has been coming. Um, you know, I think the early goal always helps. Uh, Connor's had one cleared off the line earlier. He um, had a big, big chance. I thought we came out of the blocks really well. Started the game uh, on the front foot, passed it really quickly. Uh, one and two touch all over and um, created the chances. And, you know, Connor's got us off the mark, you know, early on. And I think it just it showed the confidence of the players, you know. Um, Jack coming back, um, you know, but all in all, the, the whole performance from the players was the pleasing part today. I thought we, we were really organised, made a, a team who were good on the ball, um, made it difficult for them to find their, their passing lanes. I thought, you know, the likes of Glenn Whelan, and uh, the interceptions he made today and started attacks for us was, was outstanding. And, uh, you know, the second goal was a really good goal. And then the third goal, we looked to go in behind them uh, when we could. We looked to pass it in front of them when we could. But we switched play really well. And then, you know, to top it all, we've got the uh, Jack's goal, the fourth one. Um, wonderful execution, something we worked on in training um, from the first corner from the left side. You know, unfortunately, you couldn't hit the target. So we didn't know whether to scrap it or not. But, no, it was a great finish. Yeah, can't ignore Jack's impact, of course. It seemed to change everything on and off the pitch today. It gives everybody a boost. He's, he's a top player, um, you know, and I've said that before. I've waxed lyrical about him and we know how important he can be to Aston Villa. Um, you know, I, I mentioned about the captaincy. I had no, no, no doubts about giving it to Jack. Um, you know, it certainly wouldn't be a burden to him. He'd, he'd relish the fact that he's got the armband. It's his club. Um, you know, he's a Villa fan. And, uh, you know, he's got a long-term contract and a long future at this football club. And, you know... Uh, when I first came in, I, want, I spoke to him and said I want him to, to lead us into the Premier League, you know, um, and I think he can do that. Why did you give him the captaincy out of interest? What, what was the thinking behind it? Well, he's a player who's got a long-term contract at the football club. He's the future of the football club. He's, a, he's an Aston Villa fan, um, you know, but he's a really good professional as well. You know, there's, I feel that if I didn't give it him, I may overlook his leadership qualities, what I believe he's got. I think that there's other players within the squad, you know, Tommy Alphick, Tyro Ming, Glenn Whelan, who've got leadership qualities anyway. Um, and I feel that, you know, this can enhance his. And talk us through his goal from how you saw it and has John McGinn now got a contender for goal of the season on his hands? I think he has. I mean, we've scored some good goals uh, during the season. Um, you know, to be fair, I can't split the, the two goals. Uh, John McGinn's was was a really quality strike, and um, and so was Jack's today. So I can't split them. They're, they're two good mates as well, and I'd, I'd get in trouble either way, which way I went. So, uh, you know, I'll plead the fifth on that one. How good was Connor Hurahan today? Two goals and a big part in Tammy's in the build-up as well. Yeah, and no, I was really pleased with Connor. Played him um, a little bit higher today. Um, you know, when he went hunting the ball really well, had the chance early on, never let it bother him and, you know, uh, scored two good goals for us and really pleased because, you know, it was tough for him the last home game here against West Bromwich Albion where he hadn't done too much wrong and, you know, uh, we were losing the game 2-0 without us doing too much wrong as a team. Um, and he, um, I thought he'd done really well last week against Stoke and uh, he's followed it up with a good performance and two goals today. So really pleased for him. It just shows the, the character lad that he can come through, things like that, and uh, he's certainly got my backing. How nice to keep a clean sheet. Not too much to do this afternoon for Jed Steer. No, to be fair, when Jed comes in, I mean, QPR, uh, Stoke, and today he hasn't had many shots to save at all. Um, his distribution's been good. Um, you know, he's a confident lad and a vocal lad, and he's pushing yeah, Lovra, and I've said that, and... Uh, you know, I think that's what Lovren needs as well. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the adaptation of coming into a, a new league and a new country. Um, you know, but I think we're in a really good place with our goalkeepers at the moment. Does it show when we play like that today that anything's still possible this season? The gap's been cut as well, of course, this afternoon. Yeah, I said to the players before, we've had a th too many full storms, to, so to speak, and, you know... Uh, Let's just concentrate on this game. Let's try and win this game and then see where we go next and try and win the next game and just take it one game at a time and see where we can go from there. Bit of housekeeping, Tommy Elfitt looked a nasty one. Uh, any initial assessment on him? No, I, don't, I, I haven't heard anything yet. So, um, you know, he felt something in his ankle, I think. Uh, but we'll have to see what it is. Um, it didn't look good, uh, obviously, but we'll, we'll, we'll see the assessment on Monday. Just to finish, generally speaking, perfect way to prepare for a derby. It certainly is, yeah. It makes it a little bit tastier. You know, we could uh, go to Birmingham next week, beat them and go above them. So uh, it would make it even sweeter. But, 
you know, as I say, we'll, we'll relish the win today um, because, as I've said, it, the, their form's not great, but they have got some good players, Derby, um, and to go and beat them 4-0 today was excellent.